Today we are checking out the Toby Eye Tracker 5, which claims to bring rock solid head and eye tracking to the PC for next level gaming immersion. But does it live up to the hype? I put it through the ringer and I have some thoughts on it. So without further ado, let's dive in. Have you ever played a flight simulator and just wished that you could look around the cockpit naturally using your head? Guess what, people? We have the technology. No longer do you need a virtual reality headset to feel like you're inside the game. You just attach this little device right here to the bottom of your monitor, and voila, it's like you're inside the game. Wanna read an instrument panel and it's kind of far away from you? That's fine, with the Eye Tracker 5, just lean into it and read it like you're really in the cockpit. That's right, folks, the future is now. Setting up the Toby Eye Tracker 5 is really easy. Once you have attached the eye tracker to your monitor and downloaded the Toby app, calibration is as easy as running the setup and staring at some dots on the screen so the software can calibrate your gaze. Once you've done that, you're good to go and you can see a little bubble of uh, what you're looking at. As someone that has dumped thousands of hours into virtual reality games, the thing I wish I could do the most when I'm playing regular pancake games, which are just 2D regular games, is to just be able to look around and use my head as an input device. I know, it sounds silly. Toby's latest eye tracker lets you do that, which is like really, really cool. So if you're playing a game like Star Citizen, which will never see the light of day in VR, the Toby eye tracker at least gives you that VR-like experience where you can look around the cockpit and just check your surroundings more easily in dogfights or walking around a space station. The head and eye tracking isn't perfect, but it's pretty darn close. There is some latency involved when rendering your head movement, but I got used to it pretty quickly and it never bothered me. But that, you know, if you don't play Star Citizen, what's the point to you? Well, simulator games aside, what you can do with the Toby Eye Tracker is also use it for League of Legends, believe it or not. The Eye Tracker 5 can analyze over a period of multiple matches what you tend to do with eye behavior. So if, if you spend a lot of time tunnel visioning, the analytics of the Eye Tracker 5 will help you improve your game and let you know, hey, you're not looking at the minimap enough. Hey, you're getting too tunnel visioned. There is a noticeable difference on what pro players are doing with their eyes versus someone that's in a bronze tier or a silver tier. But don't take my word for it. Here's Toby's director of gaming, Martin Lindgren, on eSports and Toby eye tracking. Yeah, the eSports feature set uh, differs a little bit because then it's much more about capturing information that we can read from your eyes. So uh, understanding what makes a good player so good understand how they spend their time and their visual attention as they are playing a game. And we, we can already see that today when we measure that it's, it's a massive difference in a League of Legends professional, for example, compared to myself in how, uh, I'm not the worst League of Legends player, but I'm definitely not the best. And, uh, you know, just how much information they can absorb and how prepared they are for everything that is happening in game. One of the things that we measure is uh, um, uh, pick awareness, like how aware are you that you are about to be picked off in your lane or ganked in your lane. And uh, the really good players in 97, 98% of the time, they know that it's coming and they have already, you know, communicated to their teammates, like I'm, I'm going to be picked off now or I'm going to get killed. Whereas in the bronze player region where I myself is, I mean, then uh, it's more like 30% of the time, perhaps they know that it is happening, but most of the time they have no clue. So what does iTracker 5 do outside of League of Legends, outside of sim games? Well, for Shadows of the Tomb Raider, for example, you aim using your eyes. And at first it's kind of strange, it's different, but I actually really like it. So like if I'm aiming my bow at a Jaguar, I have to use my eyes to aim at it, which is kind of cool. Um, it's something that I like. And then if I'm just running around and uh, exploring a tomb or something, you just look around with your head and it actually helps, in my opinion, with the, the immersion. You can do little things with your head that you normally couldn't do with a stick. 
which is kind of cool. Like you can kind of lean around and kind of look at some stuff. It just, it's a little thing that adds much more to the game than you really think. That said, this device is ultimately for sim users. Yeah, it's great that it works with other games and League of Legends. That is super cool. But in my personal opinion, people are gonna be buying this device to up their simulator game and experience. If you're a gamer, it's cool. It's really like a lot of fun. What's cool is that you could even, if you alt tab, for example, on Windows, it will use your eyes to decide what window to open just by looking at it, which I think is really, really cool. But I mean, again, all this stuff is just cherry on top to the fact that there's nothing else like it on the market for simulator users. So in that regard, this device is totally worth it as long as you're a serious sim user. If you're a Twitch streamer, you can install something called Toby Ghost and it will show your audience where your eyes are looking, which I think is really kind of a cool concept too. I actually have seen other Twitch streamers uh, use this device with their, their gaming and it's it's actually really kind of helpful. It's kind of like watching a scary movie. It's like the killer's behind you, you know, the killer's right there. You got to get him. Same with watching Twitch streamers. It's like, there's a guy right there. You got to shoot him. How do you not see them? And it's like, oh, well, with Toby Ghost, you can see that they literally don't see them. They're too busy focused on like some other portion of the screen or whatever. I, I, I'm a nerd. I find this stuff cool. That said, I really want to talk about Star Citizen because Star Citizen is the kind of game that will most take advantage of this because it's it's everything. It's a simulator. It's a first person shooter. It's a, a flight sim, a dogfight simulator. I mean, it's everything. It's literally everything. And being able to use your head in real life to look around is actually quite useful and very engaging. So from that perspective, if you're a Star Citizen user, I I highly recommend the Toby Eye Tracker 5. Star Citizen has taken full advantage of the abilities of this device in, in a really positive way that I, I can't be more thrilled about. All right, so in conclusion, if you are a sim user or you play Star Citizen, uh, then the Toby Eye Tracker 5 is an absolute must have product. Unless you do virtual reality, which a lot of these sim games don't support very well, if at all, this is your only ticket for that next level immersion of head tracking and eye tracking. I love it. Uh, I can't live without it after using it for a bit. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna send this back to Toby. I wanna keep it forever. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Uh, as always, if you have something in the comments that you want to say to me, just tag me uh, and I'll try to respond to it as quickly as possible. Um, I love this device and I think you guys will like it a lot too. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys later.